Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Icarus. I am Zystars, and we are still in the desert. We need to get some ice for the ice box because the ice box, I was going to just leave, but then I realized, wait a minute, I could get some ice for the ice box. I could make my food last longer, and I haven't been to the snow biome yet. Or at least not up here, and I think that cave over there runs us to the snow biome. Now, I'm not 100% certain, but I feel like that's the case. I feel like it. I have a feeling in my soul. So we're going to put this stuff back in here and just keep that cooking. Not that I need it, but we're going to see what happens, because I haven't been up to the snow biome yet. Especially with this carbon armor, but that's okay. I think I think it'll be fine. I think everything will work out well. There's a cougar. We are getting... See, what I don't like is being up here and my sweet veggie cake and my fish curry going bad. Because I didn't bring the fruits to make these things um, last longer. What I do want to do is bring... Hmm. I look at power. Bring a water pump up and some grow plots and at least get one one plot for each of the things that you need to get sweet veggie cake oh and one plot actually that's probably it may and then maybe a plot of pumpkins for if i decide to bring the buffalo up here or something that would be cool yeah Probably like a pumpkin and then stuff for the sweet veggie cake. And maybe the stuff for the fish curry too. Because there are fish here. This would be a good spot to make fish curry. And I do want to bring the buffalo up. And just do a round of hitting all the trees and seeing where we can go. Where the hell was that cave? Okay, I think it's this one. And I just realized what time it was. So this is not... This is a bad idea. Because it's going to get... It's going to get super cold. But we're going to go through this cave anyway and see if this is the cave that's going to let us get through. Because I would love to get a little bit of ice and get my and get my food. You know what's interesting? It doesn't matter, like, with the air conditioner, with how cold it makes it. That would probably be cold enough to, to keep the food nice and fresh. But this game doesn't do that. Oh, jeez. It is darker than sin in here. There's a gold deposit. Yeah, see, there's some. There's a lot of good materials up here. Might be interesting to grab the buffalo and come up here and, uh, what do you call it? Just do a round. Just do a round of, uh, of mining. But that's not something to do on camera, because the buffalo is troublesome. Okay. What are you, a snow bunny? No, okay, okay, so up here is wolves. Up here is a lot of wolves. Holy monkey, look at all these wolves. Jeez, oh, Pete. Yeah, and it's cold as sin up here. Let's see. Golly. Now, if this game holds true to what... To how I know it, the, uh... Oh, yeah, I am freezing. This is not warm at all. But if this game holds true... Oh, my water. That's the problem. Then it won't allow me... Or there won't be polar bears up here. It'll be just wolves. Sweet. Man. Those... <laughs> gotta focus. You gotta concentrate. I don't know why I'm bothering to skin these guys. Um, I'm up here for ice. So, yep. And this is just the run around and pick up ice. There's a lot up here. You don't need a shovel. One way to get ice is to make the steel or the iron shovel. Maybe there's a steel one, too. I don't know, but... Um, there's definitely an iron one. 
but it does take forever. But you don't have to run around. You can just stay in one spot. Look at this. More wolves. This is how you gain levels. How many arrows do I have? 148? That's a rabbit. Okay. I want to get a full stack. I'd like to get over 100. But it is getting very cold. If it dips underneath the freezer bar there, I'm going to bug out. Okay, made it back. So, turns out, when the sun comes back up, the air conditioner just kicks on automatically. Which I guess is cool. I guess there's no point in not having it on during the daytime. Alright, so we've got a little bit of ice in here. We've got a little bit of that in here. Um, we can pull that stuff out, and I can put in my bacon. Actually... Do I care about all of this meat? Not really. This stuff, this stuff we can drop. I don't care about that. Because I want to have my sweet veggie cake. I want to have this stuff in here so it lasts longer. This stuff is healing, I guess, but I'm not worried about it. So I'm going to go ahead and put together a bunch of this here. And then I need, what was it, the biofuel stove, I think? Whichever one makes the sweet veggie cake. I think it's the biofuel stove. Or no. Yeah, this is just the fruit salad, the cream corn. I mean, I could make that stuff, I guess. But I want to have the sweet veggie cake in the other one. So we're going to bring... I have a second biofuel stove. We might just bring that out. Because I have the big stove, and then I have... Well, I have the electric stove, and then I have the biofuel stove. So we'll probably just grab the biofuel stove and bring it out here. And then we can bring a biofuel thing. Actually, that might be something to do with all the extra meat. We could just bring that and a bunch of tree sap out. And just make this a proper little hunting cabin. Alright, let's see. We've got a down drone and a farming mission. Okay. I'm not doing a down drone. An easy down drone? Let's do an easy down drone. Let's see what that's like. Why not, right? Alright, we'll just keep that. We'll just have a bunch more. What's going on in here? Okay, you're done. Sweet. All right, and then we'll drop this stuff off. Yeah, we'll do an easy down drone. Why the hell not? Um, a little bit of ice. Let's put the water back into my thing. Oh, we don't have an oxygen oxide thingy out here. That's a problem. So yeah, we're gonna have to head back after this down drone. We're gonna have to head back. Did it? Did it come down? Oh yeah, here it is. All right, let's head over there. Um. Actually, let's refresh. Let's refresh. Now let's refresh both of them. Because they are getting low. And then... bake The bacon's at 700. Let's take... A little bit of bacon. Just in case. Alright. Actually, you know what? Doing that's dumb. Because it's going to all rot at the same rate. So, do, yeah, doing it like that doesn't make any sense. Alright. Hopefully we don't get a storm. If we do, we'll have to come back. Yeah, I need a ramp right there. I need a ramp right there. Okay. Oh, my torch is still on. Okay, where are we going? Let's get over here. What the hell is that? What is that? Please don't tell me the down drone is right next to a friggin' sandworm. What the hell? What is that thing? Is that what it looks like when the sandworm moves locations? I bet if I had that other hood, I should just bring it with me. I bet if I had that other hood, that is the sandworm or the... No, I don't think it's a scorpion. I think it's a sandworm. That might be what the sandworm looks like when it's moving locations. That was cool. I've never seen that before. Oh, that's right. These things have a countdown timer. Oh, I was hoping it was on a hill. Oh, son of a bitch. A light sand event. A light sand event. Oh, fuck it. Screw it. Let's go. I don't know what's coming. Oh, shoot. Let's take 
anti-poison just in case. And I feel like this is going to be a rifle kind of day. Oh, yeah. That's the snakes. Oh, look at that. I see it. Okay, this is supposed to be an easy one. Yeah, I I think I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a set of palisades to bring out here. That's a big... That's a big scorpion. That's an armored scorpion. Wow. That thing is cool. That's the epic beast that I had to fight for that other mission. I don't think the snakes attack that thing. Am I close enough? Yeah. So maybe if I just stay away from it. See, they're not going to come from up there, I don't think, which is handy. I shouldn't have started it with this going. What is that? There's birds here? Oh yeah, it is going to attract the local wildlife. Look at all these snake holes. This is kind of good to know. That one's probably going to come up. Does that hole disappear? Yeah. So those ones aren't bothered by me. All I got to content with is the occasional cougar. And the occasional armored scorpion, which I can do. And then I'll have to just approach carefully once that thing is done. Are we loaded? Holy crap, I only have 15 rounds left? I didn't think that through. Oh, okay, I can take cougars out with my, my handgun. Or my... Um, my arrows. Someone said the base of the tail. The base of the tail doesn't seem to be any more susceptible than any other part of it. If I'm wrong, let me know where the where the uh, weak point of those armored scorpions is. I'm going to start taking damage soon. That's okay. I've got enough hit points that it shouldn't be a big deal. Shoot, I've only got nine rounds left. 65, 65. Oh, he's ignoring me. Alright. Ooh, we gotta make the next few rounds count. Yeah, we definitely gotta go home. Because we gotta get... Um... Gotta get bullets. Oh, I got too close. Come on, cougar. There we go. Yeah, your poison doesn't really bother me. I just didn't want the, ha the hassle. Is that another scorpion? I should have brought some uh, flame arrows. There we are. The last few rounds. We're down to four. Gotta make these count.
Okay, 90%. We're almost there. It's taking a little bit of damage. Something's up there. Where's my bow? My bow's a little over half. That's just a, a chamois. Or chamois. I know a lot of people are commenting <laughs> about the proper pronunciation of that goat. And I know what it is. Actually, believe it or not, it was my mom that told me the... That was awesome. It just exploded. It was my mom that told me the proper pronunciation. She's a smarty pants. She's a she's the type of woman who used to like read the dictionary and encyclopedia as a kid for fun. Because I'm old, which means my mom has a few years on me. And uh, that was way before the internet. All right, let's see what we get from this. Okay, standard stuff. Actually, there's no standard meat in these. 71 bone? Seriously? Hold on. Let's do this again. Did I get 71 bone from one of these things? Let's see. We get 18 here. I got... Oh, no. 38. That was my total bone count. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm going to skin and bone, you know, pull the bones off of all of these things and fight whatever remaining. Oh, let's go take a look at the loot. And then pick up all my arrows. All of the arrows that I can pick up. Let's go see what we get. We'll check out the reward, and then we'll head back. Uh, let's see. We got some medium hedgehogs, a steel throwing knife, iron javelin, attack speed, and alteration batch. That's all garbage. So let's take the hedgehogs. Ten hedgehogs? That's a fair amount. I like that. All right, let me... We're going to recover, and then... Uh, head back to base and probably actually I'm probably gonna head back to the the the, the forest base because we need we need to seriously get some new supplies you know we need to we need to supply up and I want to bring some um, equipment to go into the snow biome and do a few missions there this was cool uh, certainly cooler than just the boring old standard bear and and regular what are they jaguar cougar i don't know whatever the cat is and then wolves it was kind of neat having scorpions oh man oh man we made it home Whew. it was a little hairy there for a little bit there was a thunderstorm it was about the tail end of it there was fire it was it was bad it was bad all right so let's drop in everything put the sweet veggie cake in and that put the bacon in as well as that. Oh, we have a lot of crispy bacon. And then let's grab... Okay, we do have more poison pills. All right, let's grab just a few more. Good. I was afraid I was going to have to make them, but no. Um, I think that might be a tad excessive. Let's do that. And then we'll use the rest for the goods. Uh, let's see... What do we have up here? We got to put the bone. Let's make the bone into epoxy. We'll max that out. Hopefully there's room for it. And then let's run outside real quick and check the... Oh, no. Um, Biofuel. Yeah. Drop the meat in there. And then... Oh, the fish. We got seven of them, so that's seven of the fish we can make without needing to go fishing. I wish there was a, an advanced meal with regular meat. Oh, there is. Oh, the meat pie. Oh, the mushrooms. So in the caves in the snow biome have the mushrooms in them. I don't know if we can grow them, but it might be worth looking for the mushrooms when we go up into the snow biome. That'd be pretty cool. All right, let's go check our... Let's go check our windmills. Let's see how well... We were gone for a while. Not windmills, our water mills. They're still moving, so it doesn't they're not clogged, I wouldn't imagine. Okay, they got twenty-eight. So we'll take that and turn that into fertilizer. Twenty-six, excellent. Twenty-seven, okay. Alright, so those I mean they're yeah, it's a little over halfway. The amount of time we were gone. Not too shabby. Okay, so I was thinking as I was running about what talent I want to get. So I was boohooing or poo pooing the uh, the perk that has to do with bullets. 
Which one was it? This one. So this one is crafted plots use less fertilizer. Okay, who cares? But you can make gunpowder from fertilizer. I just realized I've got oops, all this fertilizer. I'm never using it for anything. Like, I'm never going to use it. So now if we go down here, we can make... Oh, I need charcoal still. Um... This thing's probably got charcoal. 14? I don't... I just don't use charcoal anymore. I had some... There we go. Got a ton of charcoal. There we go. Okay, so... One of these makes 10 gunpowder. So one fertilizer, one charcoal makes 10 gunpowder. One sulfur plus three charcoal makes one gunpowder. That's, yeah. I mean, I guess for a perk, 500, that's going to make 550 gunpowder. That, yeah. I mean, oh my god. I will never make, I will never use sulfur again for it. Because sulfur is used for, no. What else is sulfur used for? Poison paste. Oxy. I, there was something else I used sulfur for. I can't remember what it was right now. But uh, yeah, we're, we're never going to bother with that again. With with regular gunpowder. We might as well just do it like that. Okay. Um. So yeah, we, we need bullets. And we need... We need to make some more food. And we need to go check our biofuel. He's still running. He's almost halfway. So we are going to have to do a little bit of work to do a little bit of maintenance. Because being gone, I haven't been filling this. And that little bit of meat that I brought isn't enough. Okay. Yeah, we're low on just about everything. So we're going to need to... We're going to need to take the scythe out. And, and do some work out here. So let me get myself organized real quick. Deal with the animals, put everything away, and then we'll go out and about. All right, let's uh, let's do some biofuel, shall we? A blammo. That ought to do it. And we might actually run out of um, what do you call it? This is still going. We might actually run out of tree sap. So let's go ahead and make some more of that. Boom, 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 boom. And boom. Let me know if you guys enjoy watching the day-to-day -day stuff that I'm doing over here. Um, if you don't, if, if like nobody likes watching the day to day, this, you know, then I'll stop doing it. But, you know, it's part of the process. It's, it's good to see the process, right? Is this, um, no, you're done. Okay. So, all right. We got a whole bunch of fibers and there's more on my hot bar because I don't pay attention to that sort of thing. Oh, geez. Okay. Um, how's that? Pretty good. All right, give me that. Let's swap out this one. And then we've got a couple of carts to go get. We're going to go get all of our thingamadoos today. Oh, I've got this bear trophy. I think I need the taxidermy table to do anything with that bear trophy. And then on top of that, I think... I think I need some more enzyme, which I used my last enzyme to make this one. And I got this one too, because I got an enzyme and a drop, so I used it. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, 104, so this should be good by now. Yeah, we can drop that in there. Okay, that should fill up all of these, and then, oh, oops. Do that. And then I think we've got two. Because I think the aluminum one up here and then the iron one down here are biofuel. Oh, and then I need a biofuel canister for the other generator. So this will take the other three biofuel canisters. Fantastic. And my inventory is... I have coffee in my inventory. I still need to make some sweet veggie cake and whatnot, but we're not doing that right now. Where do I make... If I wanted to make coffee, it would be in this one. Oh, and my oxygen is almost out. So I was thinking about it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make 
a couple more of those oxygen things. And before we head out, I'm going to make an electric oxide thing I'm going to do. Because the electric oxide thing is going to let me um, be a bit more efficient with my oxide. And I think it does it faster. So we'll have like three of those. I think three. We'll fill up that one with the metal. So maybe I'll make... I think that thing's got five slots. So maybe we'll make five, four more. And then we'll have all those filled up. That way we have a couple for traveling. And if we want to be away from the base for an extended period of time. Oh, and I don't have any food on me. Oh, that makes running a pain in the eye. But yeah, let's go eat real quick. And then uh, we'll go we'll go check all of the all of the things. Come back, make food. Once the food is made, we're gonna make the electric oxide thingy, or maybe we'll do that before we do make go making food. But either way, we'll do an electric oxide thingy, and then are you yeah? What are you guys doing? Oh, I guess enough animals run into that barrier that it damaged it. It did it destroyed it. But, all right, let's get this stuff taken care of real quick. Okay, this aluminum one, we were wondering. So, I get 106 aluminum out of it. Now, we'll go check the other aluminum, which is over here. And we'll see how much aluminum we get out of that. So, in the time, that one did 106 because the biofuel runs out. That other one is running off of solar, so let's see how much aluminum we get off of it. Hey, Shamwall. Get out of here. Where? Oh, that wall's backwards. Oh, that's right. I didn't put a I didn't put a door here. Alright. Oh my god. That other one's not even worth having there. Okay, it's coming down. That's insane. I'm never gonna yeah. That other one's not even worth having. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that other one's not even worth having. I'm, I'm going to tear it up. Because this one, even on a solar panel working only during the daytime, it got... What, that one, other one? One, two, three hundred and seventy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, solar panels are the way to go for these things. There's not even any reason to do anything else. Holy sweet mother of God, that's a lot. Oh my God. Look at all, that's a lot of silicon ore. Like we don't have any reason to, to mine silicon ore. So I'm just not gonna waste my, I'm not gonna waste my time and my picks on silicon ore anymore. I mean, honestly, I probably don't need to bother mining. Um, What do you call it? Look at my inventory, I just so full. I'm not gonna bother, probably need to bother mining aluminum either. Like, platinum, titanium, probably the only ones I need to bother with. And iron, because I don't have iron on a solar panel. But I might change that, just so I have unlimited unlimited iron. Just put the iron on a solar panel, or a water wheel. Because the iron is right next to water, so I could put it on a water wheel. I should have brought the buffalo. Yeah. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, copper and gold are going to be in the same vein, because they're run by solar... Er, Actually, those ones are run by... Those ones are run by a generator, aren't they? I need to take that generator down and put an alternative power supply there. Yeah. I might as well put in, like, a... Like a solar power generator. Hmm. Okay, so the, uh... This one is completely empty. Now, I'm going to get it going again. We are going to pull this down and put up solar panels. I'll probably put the solar array down there on the cliff and then just run some electricity up here because the solar array is going to give us the ability to not need to redo biofuel. I know it only works during the daytime, but as we saw with the aluminum, that doesn't matter because the whole time that this one was off, a solar array wouldn't be. So... And we're getting to the point with copper and gold that we only need to come out to these ones when we actually need it. So there's not going to be any need to come out here regularly anymore because we just have so much copper and so much gold. You see, I mean, look at that. One, 
let's see, 100, 200, 300, 330 copper. That's insane, which is going to be good because we're going to be building a lot of circuit boards because I want to make a water wheel for this iron. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to make a solar panel for that. Plus, we're going to need one more electrical extractor for right here. Yeah, because this is going to get turned into an electrical extractor. And then, oh, there's one more electrical extractor we're going to hit. The, uh, uh, what do you call it? The electrical extractor that's doing sulfur. Or the standard extractor that's doing sulfur. We're going to turn that into an electrical one in the cave, which means it's going to need another water wheel. So we're going to need two water wheels and two more electrical extractors, which is going to be a lot. Oh, plus a solar panel. That's going to be a lot of circuit boards. Like, a lot, a lot. So I don't know if we're... And then I'm going to make a couple more... Oh, and I want the electrical oxidizer, so it's going to be even more circuit boards. So that's going to be a lot of grinding away and just working at this. And then we can put all that stuff up, and then we'll be... We'll, we'll pull the electrical... Oh, and I want to put up a couple more water wheels. Son of a bitch. Oh, so I did notice if you aggro these idiots and you get them right oh, under the chin. Damn it. Oh, shit. Come on. There it is. Right under the chin is their weak spot. Harder to hit, though, than you'd think. All right, well, you saw you saw the one shot. Under the chin is the way to go with these guys. Man, if you guys if you didn't have all my arrows in your nose. I was also thinking I could probably just go with um what do you call it? Aluminum arrows now. There's probably not a need to keep doing iron, although iron seems to be working all right. So, I guess it's not that big a deal. Flint head arrows. But we have the ability to do them. Look at all that gold. Yeah. These electrical extractors are the king of the world. King of the world. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do all of the grinding that we just talked about. What's happening here? Is that a wolf? I'm going to do all the grinding that we were talking about. And, uh... Oops. What was it? Slash? Yeah. And when we come back, we'll have some water wheels. We'll have all that equipment to put up. So the next episode, hopefully, we'll be putting up all of the equipment that we just talked about. And then once all that's said and done, we can hit other biomes and just keep keep doing it. Because I would like to get the barriers put up or in my inventory so we can do some more intense barrier missions. I want to try an enzyme extraction mission in the desert because I think that would be cool and I'm considering an enzyme extraction mission in the for or the snow biome as well but I have a feeling that's going to bring a polar bear in so I might need to I might make a second rifle and have two of them on my hot bar but that's that's futures a stars futures a stars will worry about that short term let's get all these electronics made with all of this electronic junk and uh next episode we'll put all of that stuff up so that's going to be exciting. We're going to 100% modernize. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for a little bit more content. Uh, leave a comment in the comments section. And as always, everyone, have a great rest of your day.